the High Court there has sentenced to death the murder suspect Mohammed Sudi Mohammed, accused of killing Muslim cleric Sheikh Mohammed Idris in June 2014. The cleric, who was then the chair of the Council of Imams and Preachers in Kenya, was shot dead after leaving a mosque close to his home in Mombasa. The Mombasa law courts played host to family, friends and curious residents eager to find out the outcome of a case that had left the entire city of Mombasa shocked following the death of a cleric who had been vehemently opposed to youth radicalization in the region. And when the time came, the magistrate Martin Moya delivered a ruling the cleric's family hoped for and the defendant's side dreaded. Unless the Supreme Court finds otherwise, the sentence for murder is mandatory, death sentence. Mitigation factors may be considered by the Board of Prerogative of Mercy. The accused is sentenced to suffer death as by law provided. <laughs> the ruling immediately sparking outrage from the family of Mohammed Sudi. All this while Sudi remained unperturbed at the dock, staring away at the magistrate as the court officers escorted Sudi's family out to allow court proceedings to resume. <laughs> Upon a careful analysis and evaluation of the evidence on record, I am satisfied that the incubatory, incubatory facts before the court are incompatible with the innocence of the accused. The Muslim cleric Sheikh Mohammed Idris was shot dead outside a mosque in the wee hours of Tuesday morning on the 10th of June 2014. His murder, sparking outrage from the residents after the sheikh on several occasions had claimed that his life was in danger following his firm stand against youth radicalization at the coast. Idris was shot twice, once on the leg and the other on his abdomen. He was the fourth cleric to be killed in a period between 2012 and 2014 and was an imam at the Sakina Mosque. Sudi's family, however, says that they will appeal the ruling. Timothy Otieno, KTN News.